In this tutorial, I will be showing you several different ways that you are able to share your Google file. There are several different ways to share a, um, a classroom or a document with others. And so I'm going to show you um, those ways to share, um, which include um, making a force copy, sharing an edit co a editable copy, and then sharing a view only copy or um, sharing it in present mode. So to get started, um, to share using the share option that we have, if you notice here when I click on it and I pull up it pulls up to this and here um, it shows where I've shared with my students because this is a um, a template that I've used for virtual learning um, and it, I've shared assignments with my students each week using this template so here I've shared it and I've shared it as a viewer so when the students click on it they can only view it. They cannot edit or move anything within that presentation. And if I wanted to change that um, before sharing, I could change it to editor, where then they would be able to edit the post or um, commenter, and then that when that's when they would be able to like make comments on the post. Um, and when you do this, you would add up here who you wanted to share it with. And then down at the bottom, you would get that link. Now, when you get that link, if you just copy this link, it's going to copy it just as it is. And like right here, it's only going to share it with people that are within my school or my district. So to change that, I would click the change option. And right here, it would say restricted or anyone with link. I would want to change that to anyone with this link so that I could share it with parents or um, other people outside of my district that would need access to it. And then once I do that, um, then I would just simply copy the link and then click done. And then from there, you can go to a different web browser or you know to an email or wherever and share that link with other people. So to show you how that would look if I shared that link, I'm gonna to go to a new incognito window. And this is a, a private browser. I'll paste the link. And then when it other people would see it like this on the screen, it would be a view only file so they would not have access to it or they would not be able to um, you know, edit any of the um, slides. So now, if we go back to this and um, if I wanted to say share my classroom with someone, but I wanted to make them make it force them to make a copy. So what I would do is I would go up here to this the the URL, the URL and then I would remove this last part to where it says edit and I'm going to put type in copy and hit enter. This then forces them to have to make a copy. So then I would share this link and then they would have to click on make a copy in order for it to become theirs and then I wouldn't have to worry about anybody messing up my original copy. So then now if I did not want to do the forced copy, say I wanted it to be in a the view or present mode, I would erase copy. I would type in present and that um, if in present mode, they don't have access to making a copy or anything like that. It is strictly in a present mode for them to um, view the file. And then it would just change slides as you scroll or click on it. 
And so those are the ways that you are able to share your Google file. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them below.